Months in Springfield, Jimmy Keene got Larry Hall to provide details about several murders Hall was suspected of committing, including Trisha Reitler's. But Keene hadn't met the original requirements of Larry Beaumont's deal. And I told him this myself, made it clear to him, that if we didn't find a body, no body, no credit. Sitting in his prison cell, Jimmy Keene desperately hoped he had done enough. Are they going to be fair and give me what's justifiably right on this, or are they just going to say, here's six months? It was a crapshoot. Without a location for Reitler's body, Beaumont had a decision to make. I uh, made a to take a polygraph test just to verify what he was telling us was the truth, which he passed, and he did make a legitimate effort to do what we sent him down there to do. So Beaumont urged a federal judge to give Keene credit for time served. Jimmy Keene became a free man and returned home to his aging father. What did you feel like when you were finally released? I, I, I was happy as could be. It was a very bizarre roller coaster that I went on. It was, I mean, redemption at its best. Keene had five more good years to be with his father before Big Jim passed away. We both realized once I got out that there is a better world than just always in a constant dash to make money. You know, it was more like, look, let's just enjoy each other while we're alive here, you know? It was closure for Keen, but not for the families of the alleged victims of Larry Hall. For years, there was no progress and no relief for people like Donna and Gary Reitler. As a parent, there's the part that you've let her down and that you want to find her and you want to bring her home and you can't. And we've done pretty much physically everything that we can to find her. And there's somebody out there that holds that one answer for us. Beaumont, too, felt he'd done all he could and that the pursuit of Larry Hall was over. There wasn't going to be no further prosecution from the federal perspective. He's already serving life in prison. He wasn't going to, you know, he was just, he was done. Once again, Larry Hall had slipped off the radar, and it easily could have remained that way, except for Jimmy Keene. First, Keene's story of strange redemption was featured in a Playboy article, and then a book written by Keene and Hillel Levin. Once we were able to write about what Jimmy went through, then things happened. Keene's story refocused attention on Larry Hall, helped reopen cold cases, and put pressure on his twin brother, Gary. Now, Gary stopped defending Larry and started talking. Larry, just like Jimmy Keene calls him, and he is, he's a baby killer. You think your brother is a baby killer? I don't have no doubt in my mind. Do you think your brother killed more than Jessica Roach? Yes. Do you think your brother killed Trisha Reitler? Yes. Michelle Dewey? Yes. As Gary started talking more openly, detectives approached him asking for help. I went with the Indianapolis detectives down to try to get my brother to confess. He made me leave the room. He did, in fact, confess on tape to 15 serial murders. Larry later retracted again. And while he can't ever seem to stick to one story, he does sometimes seem to have regrets. I didn't want to keep living my life the way I was living it. I wanted things to be different, you know, but I guess I didn't really do the right things to change the way my life was going. Larry Hall refused our request for an interview. He has never been charged with crimes against anyone other than Jessica Roach. But Keene's story has caused officials across the country to take another look at Hall. In November of 2010, investigators from the town of Nash Police Department interviewed Mr. Hall at a federal prison in North Carolina. In that interview, Hall admitted murdering Lori DePease and provided clues about where to find her body. There's multiple agencies that are looking into him reference their unsolved disappearances. Larry Hall may have had more victims than ever imagined. We understand it's even more expensive than we ever thought, not 
20, but maybe 30 to 40 in terms of the victims. That leaves 30 or 40 families still awaiting answers. Which is why, says Levin, it is critical that serial investigations do not stop. Two decades after Trisha Reitler vanished, her father, Gary, now believes Larry Hall knows where to find her. I think if Larry knew what we go through on a daily basis, you know, wondering where she is, wondering what happened, I don't think he would have any choice to confess and let us know where she, she's buried. Donna Reitler is not as sure. Yeah, he confessed, he recanted, he confessed, he recanted. Without a body, it's just another possibility. More than anything else, they just want their daughter back. To have a place to lay her to rest, just to be able to sit and just talk to her. As for Jimmy Keene, his truth is stranger than fiction. He's gone from football standout to drug dealer, to undercover operative, and now to screen star, with his story in development as a Hollywood film. Still, says Keen, he thinks of the victims' families and hopes they'll find their answers. That's all they can do is keep hoping. There was a glimmer of hope when Jimmy Keen was involved here. Maybe something else will still evolve out of this. Maybe the thing.